afternoon, everybody. Paula Evan here in the WBZ newsroom. We want to bring you live to Tingsboro. You're looking at a dangerous situation, a fire in a garage in Tingsboro, multiple explosions involved here. Our David Robichaud is on the scene, and we want to get right to him for the very latest. But, Roby, do want to mention Pamela Gardner, our meteorologist, saying winds are 50 to 60 miles per hour at this point. This fire is going to be a challenge to put out. Paula, we've definitely seen evidence of that as the woods were on fire when we got here we're off of 400 Dunstable Road in Tingsboro. Part of the woods were on fire. Uh, and then the entire area that we can see behind us right now caught on fire and is now spread to an apartment building. So what we know is back, if you can see through the flames and the woods there, there's either a construction site or a gravel pit or both back there right now. But when we got here, we started hearing multiple explosions. Some people saying that there are gas cans back there in a building that were exploding. And as you can look over through the smoke, you can see a brick apartment building. We were here when police started evacuating the residents. <clears throat> We've lost David Robichaud's audio for just a moment, and we're going to work to get that back. But we want to continue to show you this very active scene. Again, Roby was talking about this fire going on in Tingsboro. And as you can look through the smoke uh, there and the tree line, as Roby began to mention, there is a three-story brick apartment building in the foreground. You can see the fire there. Uh, as David Robichaud was saying, now it's turned to heavy uh, this is a video of heavy, thick black smoke from a short time ago. Uh, and people in the area telling him, as he heard explosions, that this was some sort of construction site. Perhaps there were gas cans, uh, gas tanks back there that caught fire. But now on this very windy, gusty day, uh, we do have a high wind warning in the area. And winds are gusting at 50 or 60 miles per hour at this point. So as you see that thick black smoke building Following off to the left, uh, now we're bringing you ground pictures. Uh, the danger here is is that the fire will spread to this apartment building. And I think we have David Robichaud back. Uh, we've got your audio back, Roby. Uh, what are you hearing right now? Paula, we're seeing multiple departments here now, not just uh, Tingsboro, but Westford is here, Nashua, New Hampshire is here. We're seeing uh, um, multiple uh, Drake it is now here because they've got to get this fire under control on this apartment building. I'm going to just duck in front of the camera for one second. Joining me now live is Joan, uh, a, a resident near here. What do you know about what's back there, Joan? I, and I know there's a trucking firm next door to this apartment building and there's several homes behind and uh, we're not sure how far those flames have got but when I got here the flames were very high. They were on the roof of the building and uh, lots of smoke. Thank you, Joan. Thanks for joining us. And if you look back across now, you can see they finally were, I think they were having some initial problems getting some water into the hoses. I don't know if it's a pressure problem or not, but they were having problems getting some water. You can look now, they've got a ladder truck up now to try to get to this apartment building. And uh, you can't see it, but if you look over, if Mike, if you pan over to the left, there's a huge uh, strip mall, stri shopping mall across the street, which is a completely obliterated now by smoke. You can't even see it. There's so much smoke there. The police are diverting traffic out of this area from the area of 400 Dunstable Road. But the good news is we know that they've got everybody out of... We can finally see this apartment building because the smoke has cleared a little bit. Now, Paula mentioned uh, that Pamela Gardner said the winds were 50 to 60 miles an hour. That was very evident when we got here because this fire spread so quickly through the woods. Imagine how dry that is back there. The woods, we, it's got to have spread at least 100 yards at we saw the firefighters did a great job knocking it down before it could fully engulf this uh, building, this apartment building now. They're getting a ladder up now to get on the roof. It's a brick building, so they're mostly concerned about the uh, wooden perimeter there, the gutters and whatnot, and the roof itself. But that's the latest live in Tingsboro. I'm David Robichaud. Back to you, Paula. All right, David Robichaud, thanks so much. So it looks as though firefighters are there trying to control that scene. We'll have updates for you on CBSBoston.com. And, of course, the very latest, we hope you'll join us for WBZ News at 5 o'clock. We'll return you now to regular programming.